Hey guys, Kevin here from thesportsgeek.com and in today's video I'm going to be going over what run line betting is in the MLB. If you're a beginner baseball better and you don't know what run line betting is then this video will help you out. Let me just switch over to my whiteboard here. Okay, here's an example of what a run line will look like at a sports book. You're going to have the two teams that are playing and then the underdog is going to be plus 1.5 and the favorite's going to be negative 1.5 on the run line. And then we're also going to have betting odds associated with either side here. So what you want to look at here is first you're going to look at the negative or the plus. And this is pretty much the same as uh, betting against the spread in football, except with baseball we're always going to have a one and a half run spread or run line. Now when you're taking the plus 1.5 runs, this means that the White Sox can either lose by exactly one run or they could win outright here for that to cash. And if you're looking at the Twins negative one and a half, that simply means they have to win by two or more runs in order for that to cash. Now in this example, if you took the White Sox to win on the money line, they'd be the underdogs, but on the run line here, since they're getting a run, they're actually paying negative 150, which we all know means to risk 150 to win 100. And betting on the Twins here, they're the favorites on the money line, but since they have to win by two or more, you're actually getting $120 for every $100 bet. All right, let me just erase this and we'll take another quick look at the run line. Okay, in this example, we'll go with the Red Sox as the underdog on the run line. And we'll go with the Yankees. minus one and a half. Okay, so let's say we have a final score of New York five, Boston four. So although New York won the game, they actually aren't covering the run line here. Boston is getting is only losing by one. So since they're getting one and a half runs, the winning wager on the run line is actually going to be the Red Sox. So if you're betting New York on the money line, you would win. But here, since they have to win by two or more, it's actually Boston on the run line that would win. Okay, let's stick with the same team, same odds. Now let's say New York three, Boston five. So as you can see here, Boston won by two runs and they're actually getting a run and a half. So in this case, they won outright, even though they could have lost by one and still won the run line bet. So in this case, Boston is still the winner here on the run line. Let's just take a look at one more example. And in this one, we're gonna go with New York winning six to two. And of course, they only have to win by two or more to win. So here, a bet on the Yankees on the run line would have won. So if you didn't know what run line betting was, I hope that helped you out a little bit. I've also put an explanation below this, and you can check out our website, thesportsgeek.com. Alright, cheers guys. If you aren't subscribed to the Sports Geek videos, click on the subscribe button in the top right. If you're already subscribed, you can check out the two featured videos here, Sports Insight Review, or a tour of my Sports Betting Man Cave.